So songbird, the, all of the birds that make up the either hand cut collage birds or the digital and drawing, um, digital collage and drawing birds are all birds of the Sydney and South Coast region. So they are specific to the locale that I grew up in, which is on the Shoalhaven River uh, and also in the Sutherland Shire of Sydney. So Interloper uh, is sort of a bit different in terms of the, the rest of the body of the work. And this work is more about talking about my experience of moving from Sydney, Sutherland Shire down to Nowra in 1980 when I was 10 years of age. Uh, the work, the, the big dark looping forms, they sort of reference the idea of that anxiety or um, f feeling confused as a, as a child, into moving into this new place that wasn't familiar and, and how do you make that place home. The pink arcs that you can see that kind of connect um, one space to another, the pink is emblematic of my girlhood um, and I use it symbolically in my practice you'll often see work that has this pink in it which is a, is a way of inserting myself into the work. Um, the little bird that hangs upside down it's kind of connected between two of those arcing um, pink spaces is actually me sort of hanging upside down sort of sliding from one to the other feeling confused in that space. from other birds all cut up and collaged back in together to try and make a, a form that could on first glance could possibly look like a real bird but then you realize hang on I'm looking at a tail where a wing should be or there's a bird's head where a tail should be and, and so forth so it's playing around with with that plausibility of the birds the titling of those works um, in fact references my matrilineal and patrilineal family uh, all the names come from my deceased grandparents, uh, great-grandparents or great-aunts and uncles. And they're called a chorus line and then the person's name because it's a way of trying to weave them back into the birds that do come and visit us at our place and my studio every day. So they, they feel like family, they're like friends. The reason I picked this title was I was trying to think of something that connected the embroidery that was in my work as well as um, that order and the materials that we used. It also has some physics connotations. 
Um, and so I love, I love good connections to science as well, which I think is obvious in my work. One of the things I really wanted to play with was the idea of the material and how I could incorporate the material and what the material normally is into a work that sort of spoke more about the method and all that sort of thing. So bringing all those ideas together. Uh, this, the form itself took me a little while to make. So I made the form before I embroidered it and then I started embroidering it and that probably took me about six or seven weeks. sucked into the pattern but um, what I really love to do is then um, mutate the pattern or try and change the pattern or mess with the pattern. So this particular work is that um, I've made is Transposition. This was a work that I made for my graduating show in 2016 so it's quite old now um, but um, I love that sort of also reminds me of music. Um, in the way that you slightly change the way, you've got sort of the same sort of pattern and then you're ch changing the way that the um, pattern gets um, changed around. Um, so it's a little bit different form from what I had done originally in my uh, graduating show. I've cut all the pieces out, but it still gives you that nice rhythm and the, and the flow of the pattern. But also, it's, it's a work you can sit down and have a look at carefully because you'll see I'm constantly playing with the pattern and changing it.